Hi there, welcome to the Cloud ACS introductory presentation. The goal of this video is to pinpoint the key features of the system. Today I will cover zero touch provisioning, remote and automated service activation, and of course, operation on groups of devices. I will go through maintenance features like firmware upgrade, backup, or restore. You will see predefined monitoring templates, the device inventory, which can help you find your device by any label extremely fast, individual CPE view, in which you can see its current status and more details about its end user, dashboards, configuration panels, and much more. So let's move to the Cloud ACS. It was made by industry expert in device management, AV System, and it is now offered in software as a service model. We fully support multi-tenancy, so if you want to have more advanced account structure with subdomains or different levels of visibility, there is no problem with that. Let's talk about the device inventory. Cloud ACS is vendor agnostic, so we can work with any device with TR069 or USB protocol support. Here you can find a device by searching by any value presented in those columns really fast. It can be your customer phone number, device IP address, and any other identifier you are using in your company. This view can be fully customized, so we can present there what you actually need. Now, I will go to the view of individual device. It is important to mention that Cloud ACS can be successfully used with different connectivity technologies. We have templates and predefined flows for, among others, LTE, CBRS, DSL, and Fiber. Here you can see the example of DSL device. And the next one is using LTE network. There, we can present the current device location on a map. It's a pretty unique feature. You can schedule the speed test by clicking on the Check Now button. In a customer information box, you can find more details about device and user. This is also a good example of the integration with CRM platform, which can be source of data for Cloud ACS. It is good to know that significant part of the platform functionality set is available via REST API. Using it, you can really enhance the system capabilities Connectivity stream can be really helpful during the debug, as you can find there what happened with your CP in the past. Now, let's move to the dynamic dashboard. This is a place in which you can find graphical notifications about the current status of your device. Here you can define KPIs and values for their thresholds, telling the ACS what excellent or poor means in your case. As the result of that, your team can notice the issues much faster and they do know the severity of the problem from the beginning. Now we'll switch the interface to customer care view. It was created for non-technical people, customer care and support teams. It allows solving the end user problem super fast and without deep technical knowledge. You can manage the service available on a device, for example, if the issue is in the disabled Wi-Fi, you can enable it again with only one click, similarly with changing the Wi-Fi password or rebooting the CPE. Let's now have a look at the data model preview. Here you can see the full list of parameters reported by your device. You can refresh them or modify their value directly in that tab. Now, 
I would like to move on to the monitoring and graphing capabilities of Cloud ACS. We offer many templates dedicated to different services. So for example, you can monitor radio conditions on your LTE or CBRS device. Values like RSRP or RSRQ are graphed in time here. You can also gain insight into your device cell membership or cell swaps. Moving on to the maintenance features of Cloud ACS, which are crucial for many of our customers. I want to emphasize that it is as easy to schedule those actions on one device as on the group. To schedule a backup, you can just click on a button. The backup file will be stored on our drive so you can restore it in the case of the need. Firmware upgrade works in a similar way. You can upload and select the file, executing the upgrade by just clicking on one button. And actions. Here you can save any procedure, even really complex one, which is used often by your team as a quick fix. So you will be able to run it in the future just by clicking on a button, like in the case of adding the port forwarding here. Now we'll go to the device group stamp. So to the ultimate goal of device management. You can feel insured having ability to act on the groups, so on 100, 1000 or 20,000 devices at once, without sending technician to your customer homes. It increases their satisfactions, reducing costs on your side. You can see that here we are sorting your devices automatically by manufacturer, model name and firmware version. Additionally, it is good to know that we are able to sort your device based on any value like location, current LTE cell, customer time and much more. Basically, you can apply any custom rule you want. Next, I would like to take a look at the tasks. A task is our name of a procedure which can automatically configure your devices. Zero touch provisioning can be implemented using a task. So here you can choose the group on which you want to schedule some action. You can act really precisely choosing, for example, a group related to some particular device model or particular firmware version. You can choose a task from one of our templates. So for commonly used actions, it's really simple. As you already know that any action scheduled on individual device like firmware upgrade, reboot or any change in configuration can also be scheduled on a group. What is really interesting here is the fact that you can also see the monitoring results aggregated on those groups. I've presented LTE monitoring on individual device so now let's go to the data usage monitoring template. There you can check the average aggregated on the selected group. You are also able to add results from selected devices and treat the group stats as a benchmark. Last but not least, let's move to the main dashboard. You can see here how many devices you have, what part is online, what part is offline, there are links to our documentation and much more. So summing up, in such a short period of time, we are not able to present the full feature set of Cloud ACS. So the best way to check how helpful it can be in your company is to play with the platform during the trial. You can request it by sending us an email. Thank you for your attention and see you on the trial. Thank you.